Boy, howdy, I tell you what. We is drinking moonshine. He's expecting me to dignify this. You me. want some moonshine, son? As the reputable expert in this relationship, I can't go down to your level. You know, one time I knew this guy brought a bear into a bar in Lubbock. Was there a punchline to that? No, nope, that's a Just great a story. Just a really shitty setup. <laughs> that's all we got. We uh, were doing Platte Valley Moonshine. Because someone said, hey, I love all this bourbon scotch rye that you're doing, but what about the other stuff? Well, here's the funny thing. There's really only like 10% other stuff. Yeah. Or less. Do you know? I mean, maybe wheat. Should we say why we're doing all the other stuff? It gets more views. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is, <laughs> this is bioethicist. Yeah. Um, no, there's a reason. He says, you tend to show a lot of those things. Right. But what about the other stuff? Here's the thing, because whiskey reviews are a niche inside of a niche. It's yeah. very, very small uh, community on YouTube. And people search for things that they're curious about, and if they've never heard of it, and they're not searching for it, they're not going to find it. It doesn't help our show. Yeah. If it doesn't help us, we're not interested. No, I'm really, more so than Daniel, very, very Check this out. Wait, I think, I think we should... I think we should it needs, do it no, like it needs this. to be bigger than that. You gotta do the. Uh, 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 uh. I think I just spilled some down my you arm. Did. You did. You, you're not a good hillbilly. <laughs> That's totally tripping <laughs> off my arm. The worst <laughs> hillbilly ever. I am the worst hillbilly ever. Mm. Okay. okay. So this smells. Now sweet. this is a hundred percent corn whiskey. Sweet. However, it, and, um, it has been aged for three years. Now you're gonna ask a question. I'm no, guessing. No, I'm not. Oh man, I can't drive home now. <laughs> uh, you're gonna ask a question, which is, how come it's not bourbon if it's been aged for three years, and it's mo is all corn? Yeah. Do you want to know the answer to that? Sure. It's actually pretty cool. Have a ball. Go ahead. So the definition of corn whiskey by the TTB, mm -hmm. which is you know blah blah blah, um, is that it uh, it cannot exceed 80% alcohol by volume. Right. Right. And this 80 proof. Right. There we go. Or 80, uh, 80 proof, um, or sorry, when it goes in. From a fermented mash of not less than 80% corn, this is 100%, so we're good there. Yep. And it has to be stored at no more than 125 proof. Now they watered this down when they bottled it. And it has to be aged in used or- I'm falling un... asleep no, no, on no. my feet. It has to be aged in used or uncharred barrels. So this is a only corn whiskey, Aged in barrels, but not charred. So there's no char flavor in here, only wood flavor. Okay, so the one saving grace about this, because it's not blowing my mind right now, but what it's doing for me is it's giving me very one note, very cleanly and very loudly, so that whenever I go back into other whiskeys, yes. I'm thinking, oh, what's the corn note? Bam, this is yeah. all corn note. This is why I drink these. Okay. I drink these to separate out what the grain is doing from mm. what the barrel did. Yes. Right? This, this, if you want to know what corn does to a whiskey, get some of this and it's going to be just, there's not even a hint of any other notes. On well, the side. it is wood. No, there's I'm, wood flavors uh, in there. What are you there. doing? It's corn. It's banana. Are you insane? It's, it's banana just... apple. You know, I, I'm calling in your credentials. You no longer. Who are you get, calling them into? No longer get to be the the Somalia Institute of the Vault, Ow. which was founded by me. <laughs> I actually like this. Do you? I yeah. Just, it's so boring to me. I could drink this. No. Well, I mean, I wouldn't drink this uh, in order to explore whiskey. No, no. But I if I just wanted some damn whiskey nope. and it was summer and yeah, nope. I'd drink this. I would never drink this straight. Um, perhaps with some cocktails mixed with some other things. This is. Just so, and the one note is, isn't even really that amazing to me. It's, <laughs> Man, you are down on this whiskey. No, I am. I am. <laughs> and I think it may be the bottle that's pissing me off, quite frankly. This is like, what are you doing? This is reminding me of... All right, let's get a non-aged one. My family... And you know what I know I can do right now? I can <laughs> leave my glass. And their Ozarkian roots that I've tried so hard to leave behind. Okay, how about this one? This one is easy to find on the shelf. Right. Georgia Moon corn whiskey. Bring it. Aged less than 30 days. So two years to 30 days. Is that what we're doing? Uh, well, it's not really aged at all. So less than 30 days. <laughs> corn whiskey. No. That's as clear as water. This at least has some color in it. Yeah, this basically tastes like whiskey mixed with sake. And it comes from a mason jar. It's kind of hard to pour out, isn't it? It really is hard to pour out. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yee-hoo! Like, if I were to just... That's what was made before people started aging the in if, barrels. If I were to just be given a container of a liquid, and I smelled this, I was like, oh, mm. this is not intended to be consumed. Oh! Yeah. This is not... Oh, you know what? I smelled this in science labs before. Now, hold on. Pretty I, mild. No, it is. But I gotta tell you, it's like a vanilla. I actually like. Now you can see what the wood's doing. Shut your mouth. I actually like Shut this your more. Mouth. Why? I don't know why. Compare them again. You know what it is? They're using a font that reminds me of Scooby Doo. <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, Alright, I'm gonna go side by side and figure out why I actually... Okay, so remember, since these are both 100% corn, you're gonna get to see mm -hmm. what unaged or uncharred barrels are adding to the whiskey. On the nose, I like the hillbilly bottle better than the jar. Mm-hmm. Me too. But I don't mind the, the Georgia Moon. This to me, this is not... This, this is not a whiskey to me. <laughs> right? What is it? This is, to me, I, I, know, I know exactly why I like this better. This is a, a nice little divergent romp because I'm drinking so many whiskeys like these days to get something that no, it's not a whiskey. What do you why just must you ruin all good things? <laughs> hey, yeah. if you're gonna drink, if you're gonna have a mason jar, you're gonna drink from the damn mason this jar. Is a, this is a little pleasant distraction. This is basically ah, the reason why, the reason why I go home and I make myself like a little margarita, a little martini. Because enough with the damn whiskey. It's, you're tired of whiskey. It's wonderful. <laughs> I've been so spoiled. Yeah, to the point where you're tired of whiskey, that's when you know you've crossed the line. You really need to pull back the reins on my mooching. Because <laughs> you've made it so easy. And All right, read a couple of comments and I'm going to show them a little book and the thing that they can do at home. Trinity Zaku, sorry Daniel, I think the only piece of merch. So, yeah, people were saying, hey, we're everyone wants Rex to be on the merch. But Trinity, Trinity Zaku had a, a, an idea for you. All right, bring uh, it on. You would show up on a shirt and your face would be dead center. And it would say, Bullet and Coco. And then on the bottom, <laughs> perfect for those kids' performances. <laughs> That's right. Which I like. I would change it. I would say, Bourbon and, and uh, Coco. Bourbon and Coco. Bourbon and Swiss Miss. Uh, Swiss Miss. Bourbon and Swiss Miss. <laughs> perfect for those kids' performances. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm in on that. I'll make that shirt. All right. Is there a, is there a particularly interesting one here? Don't uh, read it. Just look at the name. I don't remember. Just, gonna... just quickly. Just glimpse. Hey, look at this. What do you think? Don't look at this. I feel like I'm getting mixed messages uh, from you. Zel Zelmel, and the new one, Zelmel. 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 Oh yeah, new guy. Don't look. New guy. Hey, Daniel and Rex, any thoughts on the traditional... I'm reading backwards. ...Japanese whiskey and other spirits, uh, like the Miru Mizuwari? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a Japanese spirit. Right. It's essentially using the spirit, often Japanese single malt, as a cordial squash dilute in ice water. Obviously, you lose almost all the nuance due to dilution. Mm -hmm. uh, and cold, but like whiskey on the rocks, it can be very re refreshing. Yeah, I've not had day. it. I do know about it. That sounds interesting. It sounds interesting. I want to try that. Uh, anything uh, Japanese, uh, I always want to try. Yeah. But no, haven't tried it. Maybe we will. You want another? I can do another. Uh, no, no, I'm going to show in the book. Oh, okay, so here's the thing. What is uh, the book? Tell this, us the book. This is a whiskey book made up of... Um, Charles McLean's whiskey wheel, tasting wheel, that I use to take notes about whiskeys. It's like Play-Doh. The jar Play -Doh. is, is Play-Doh. It's liquid Play-Doh. I give this to graduates of the school uh, because I make them by hand. Uh, if you like a more formal one, the Whiskey Smiths at whiskeysmiths.com, they've made a really cool tasting sheet you can download for free, and they're making whiskey books that I highly recommend. These you can't buy anymore. Um, but it does give you a principle that I'd like to show you because it allows your brain to give a shape to a whiskey. So what I do is I'm, and I'm going to take this a little bit closer for Chad. So well, hold on, let me help. Wait, you. wait, I got to. Oh, I can do it right here. You can zoom in right here. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna focus. And you know what, ballpark, you're close. Okay. So right here, I've got the details of the whiskey. I've got the general flavor categories: sulfur, wood, wine, cereal, fruit, and so on. And then subcategories under each one of those. Right, so cereal, mash, cooked veg, malts, and so on. What I start doing is I take notes on the right-hand side. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> I take notes on the right-hand side, marking all the flavor profiles I'm finding, light, clear, body, all of that kind of stuff. It helps me remember the whiskey. And then over here on the wheel, I've got repeats of the words that are right here. I will mark it on a scale of 0 to 5. 
so that I can create a constellation in the shape of the whiskey, right? Now what this does to me is it lets my brain picture that this whiskey has a shape in my head. So that to me is super cool because I get to uh, look at that shape and go, wait a minute, I've seen that shape before. Where have I seen that shape before? Then I can go through the book and find the other whiskey that I judged at that shape and I can see how they differ and it gives me fine tuning notes on this So you, you and I were trying this mystery bottle before we came Yeah. Here, and you were looking online and everybody's trying to figure out because... What is were, it? What is it? Because they were, they were sourcing whiskey from very, very special Scottish distilleries and something. And but they weren't saying whose it was. And we, we both we both tried it. Instantly, like, oh, we both knew which one it was. It's Kolaila. Now, we, maybe we're wrong. No, we're not. It's a really young Kolaila. Yeah. <laughs> which is just... Kolaila. It, it is. Yeah. It's, it's a damn good, though. It's yeah. damn good. Yeah. But yeah, those kinds of shapes of things, they help cement flavor profiles in your head. That's all they're doing. Uh, it's, it's a really cool little trick. Okay. And um, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm actually, I've, I've changed my mind completely, because I can do that. Okay. I'm on this one now. This, I got burnt out. Came back around to me. No, well. Always oh, being oh right. Oh God, are you there? Always right. I was kidding. I'm. Always. This is. Always right. This is where, it's this, this, the Scooby-Doo. You gotta love the Scooby-Doo. Always right. Mother. Well, tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal. May you return before Daniel has time to be a Cold. Yeah, I can't move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.